back to the common sense guys channel. Uh, yeah, I just got up. It's around about eight o'clock ish. Uh, Notice that I had a response from a video. Now, if anybody's new to the channel and hasn't been able to watch this video, I suggest that you watch it first. I did a video about human being in processed meats and foods. And if you haven't seen that video, then you need to be able to watch it here. That being said, the person that I was responding to in the first half of the video called Wes Trufer has actually responded to me via a comment. Um, it's interesting to say the least. It's very interesting. So let's, let's go and have a look at this response, shall we? Because it's, it is kind of interesting, honest. So let's go do that. So as you can see, this is the actual comment from Wes Trufer himself in which he actually goes on to say, and yes, I am going to read it as I think it's very, very important. Hey there, my man. I had to check your channel out. I like it. Be safe. Hmm. I have to tell you that most of the things I talk about, I do not get from other people's videos. This is my insult and my intuition and my foresight. Interesting. I never said that it wasn't and I never tried to imply that you got your ideas from the second half of the video. Never tried to even imply that. I was just trying to say that people have the same ideas. But hey, let's carry on and uh, see how many straw man that you can decide that you're going to try and bring up in one comment. This is why I tell folks to go and check things out for themselves. Interesting. So if you go and tell folks to go and check things out for themselves, why wouldn't you link to the studies in which you have your information from? Do you be able to give them a starting point to even consider that your points may be correct? Regardless of if they are or are not, surely you should give them the foundation of where to look for first. But then again, I suppose that's just me. If one does not respect my ideas, then find the proof and show me up as a foolish idiot. I did. I did show you for a foolish idiot. Hence why I did the video. It was a video on human that was in the food and the fact that you thought that the reptilians or the lizards we're using 5G to implement this by putting it in the fucking food. But hey, again, I suppose I misinterpreted your idea and how you put things across. I'm sure that's the way that it happened, isn't it? I'm sure. If you, my friend, have not come to know that 5G destroys the cells of a human body and disrupts the body's natural functions and thus the human deteriorates in health. I haven't been able to find any research on that whatsoever. I haven't been able to find any credible research that this happens at all. No peer review studies, no nothing. Lots of blogs, lots of videos, but no peer review studies by anybody that does this. Though then again, I remember when 3G was first being brought out, when everybody was saying exactly the same thing. I remember when 4G was being brought out, when everybody was saying exactly the same thing. I am not trying to suggest, though, that you are wrong, because I'm not even trying to go after your 5G wackiness. I was pointing out that you were saying that there was human in processed meats, and that you were a fucking idiot for thinking that. Besides the point, let's carry on, shall we? Doctors are masons. Apparently. I think you mean Freemasons, but hey ho, I suppose the correct terminology doesn't really matter. The colloquial should count, right? The government is behind everything that destroys human health, and this is mainly for profits of the medical and pharmaceutical industries. Really? Any proof for that? Any proof that the government and the pharmaceuticals are working together? Considering that they don't want to make, in America at least, Social health care or any sort of forms of about that that 
the actual medical departments don't want to be part of national health. But I suppose that's all about profits, isn't it? All about profits, which means that they wouldn't be working with the government then, doesn't it? But, you know, I'm sure you've delved more into this than I have. And even if you have, which you probably have, provide the citations for it to prove your points. Any assertion that is made with no evidence can be dismissed with no evidence. All it is is hearsay that you are providing at this moment in time. You provide evidence, I have to then counter your evidence with more evidence. Not try to debunk a negative, but I'm sure you already understand that, right? I can further see and tell that you are a government operative and you don't know your farts from a bowl of eatable beans. Interesting. At least I know how to put fucking full stops in an actual sentence rather than a dash. But, you know, grammar. I know that I'm not the best when it comes to grammar, but at least I know when to put full stops in. But, more importantly, let's address the government operative, shall I? I am literally a disabled man in social housing in the UK. How could I be a government operative? And how could I be a government operative for the US government living in the UK doing videos on YouTube about UK government? And sometimes the US government. How can I be a government operative doing that? Again, wild assertions dismissed with literally no evidence whatsoever. Because again, my friend, you are a fucking retard. Talk all the shit you want to, but you will not change what's happening to humanity and the entire government controlled medical and pharma industries are working together. One shred of evidence, all I'm asking for, one shred of evidence that this is actually happening. One, rather than you just screaming into the void about how me government's bad and how the Illuminati is destroying the world. Just evidence, please, just something rather than baseless assertions. You are quite stupid and too stupid to talk. Interesting how my conversations and literary skills seem to be at, a, at least an adequate stage to be able to formulate, I don't know, videos? Interesting. But you know, too stupid, I suppose, never mind. You should find some other group to work for besides the government. Well, I wish the government paid me more money. I really bloody do. They will use you and then spit you out. Because I'm so with the government. I'm so for the government. It's unbelievable. It's like you've looked at my channel and gone, Hmm, he seems to be working for the government, even though I'm completely anti-establishment. But besides the point, I suppose assertions are what's truth now. You can slur me, but never will you say anything before my face. These people can tell that your object is to attack and discredit my channel. I wasn't trying to discredit your channel. If I was trying to do that, then I would do all of your videos. Which, which, by the way, is very very fucking interesting some of your videos which we might do some more on i don't know we will find out at some point but i didn't discredit your channel i discredited your video and as you said good luck with that but hey i suppose let's actually go and have a look at how i responded i suppose so i responded so you like my channel, yet I work for the government. Again, as I said before in the actual verbal reply. Okay, good start. So you get most of your information from other people's videos, but don't link them or the information on yours. Whether he gets his information from other videos or not is the point of where's the information coming from and you should be linking the information which you have to be able to provide it to other people to make up their own decisions on the information that you have. But you don't. And the reason why you don't is because you don't have the information. Because if you do, you know that it would be ridiculed because it wouldn't be peer-reviewed studies and it wouldn't be anything that's backed up by any evidence. But if you do, 
please link it to people and people can then not say that you're a conspiracy theorist and a fucking literally a tinfoil hat wearing loon and would be able to go yeah i can see where your point is i can see that the medical stuff is there i can see that there's actual infringement that is actually happening on these people and 5g is probably the call of it but yet you don't do any of that so i wonder why you don't do that that's that's all i wanted to say you can say i tell people to do the research my gripe was you don't back up your claims and you still haven't my point for the whole point of this video is that you haven't provided any evidence where's true for nothing so i did prove you wrong on the human being in processed meats which was the point of the video it wasn't to debunk the 5g towers though even if it was to debunk the 5g towers you provided no evidence to say that it is what you say so if i then come back and say to you that you're wrong that means that my circumstantial evidence cancels your circumstantial evidence no actual point can be made without evidence you have to back it up otherwise it can be dismissed with no evidence can you show me where the doctors are masons as in freemasons which again all i'm doing is asking for actual evidence the government may be behind all the suffering in the countries but show me evidence of that do not just claim it and expect others to believe it again i provided links to all my claims in the video so it isn't hard because i actually did put all my links in the video though if you want to i still have more that i could put into another video if you so choose to if you really want me to because when people make assertions they need to back it up and this video isn't about me making assertions this is me responding to your idiocy but let's carry on one last time so i work for the government do you know I'm just a disabled man? I'm from the UK in social housing. And I go against your government regularly as well as my own. Yet because I disagree with you, I'm now somehow a government operative. As Jesse Lee Peterson would say, amazing. What do you mean I wouldn't call you a tinfoil hat wearing idiot to your face? Because I would. And still would. Whether it be on a live stream or if you want to travel to me. Because if you want to travel to me, then that's fine. I'd still call you a tinfoil wearing hat idiot. Well, of course I'm not flying to wherever to do that. Because I'm not. That would cost me money. A government operative just hasn't got a lot of money, unfortunately. It just doesn't. It just doesn't get looked after by the government. And as you well know, we're only there to be used and then spit out. So I wouldn't really have money to travel, would I? By all means, you can come to me. I live in Lincolnshire in the UK. Or we could do a live stream where I call you an idiot. Again, what is your problem and what is your claim to this whole point? So in closing, Mr. Wes Trufer, if you would like to talk to me one-on-one uh, -on -one about anything, then that's fine. I'm not interested in you throwing accusations at me. I'm not interested in you trying to say, well, 5G towers work this way because they're not provide any citations. If you want to do something like that, then provide the citations and provide the links for it. Otherwise, please get off my channel and please stop claiming things with no fucking evidence. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you did enjoy it and you did like it, which you probably didn't because it was more about being annoyed and just plain stupidity then just give us a like out of i don't know pity pity that'll do and if you still feel pitiful for me afterwards don't forget to subscribe and share the video as much as you like thank you guys and see you all again real soon bye, -bye for now